Hey everyone, this is Adam from Ads Productions. We've had a little while now to use Windows 10, and during that time various keyboard shortcuts have been discovered, so here are a few of my favourites. Okay, let's kick the speed up a bit because there's no reason this video should be long at all. Windows key and tab. This activates the task view which allows you to see all of the applications that you have open. Windows key and A will bring up what's officially known as the Action Center. This gives you access to commonly needed functions such as search, share, devices and settings. Windows key and C will make Cortana appear ready to receive speech instructions. Windows key and D will minimize all windows or applications that you have open and will boot you straight to the desktop. Windows key E brings up the file explorer. This is the place that you view your most recent files and frequently used folders. Windows key and H enables the share feature within the Windows 10 applications. Windows key and I opens up the settings window. Windows key and K activates the connect feature to stream to wireless displays and other audio devices. Windows key and L is a frequently used one by me which locks your machine completely and requires you to log back in with your created password. Windows key P allows you to project your screen either to another monitor or a projector. Windows and R is an oldie but a classic. It opens up the run window to allow you to execute commands. Windows S simply activates Cortana in general. Windows key and X brings up what's known as the power user features. In other words, it's the menu that appears when you right click on the start button. The Windows key and the directional arrows like up, left, down and right, or up, down, left, right, or whatever combination you want to use, allows you to snap applications to each side of the screen. I'll let you try that one out for yourself. Windows key, control and D creates a brand new virtual desktop environment. To close whatever virtual desktops you have open, just simply press Windows control and F4. If you have several virtual desktops open and active, the best way to switch between them is to press Windows key and control, plus left or right depending on your preference. Finally, for one of the most overlooked shortcuts there is in Windows 10, so each item in your taskbar is assigned a number. For me, Chrome is 1, Edge is 2, File Explorer is 3, etc, etc. You can actually open the applications by pressing the Windows key along with the corresponding number. So for example, for Chrome, you do Windows key in 1. As you can see on the screen now, I'm cycling through all of the applications on my taskbar. Now there are loads and loads of other shortcuts around in Windows 10. Please let me know in the comments below the ones that you use, or if there's ones that I've missed, or any special hidden ones that I haven't quite included in this video. Thanks again for watching, this has been Adam from Ads Productions. Please subscribe for more technology related videos. Goodbye.